Hi, praise the Lord. Uh, welcome to Just Praise the Ministries. I uh, just want to say hi to everyone. Just, the list is too long, so just hi, everyone. Uh, I, I have a lot of scriptures to cover today, so I want to get right to it. Uh, but I want to tell you to send a, an email. Just send a praise report. Send a uh, prayer request. Uh, just say hi, okay, to just praise them one at gmail.com. Just the word, just praise them, and the number one at gmail.com. So just praise them one at gmail.com. Also, you can write us at uh, just praise them, P.O. Box 305, Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, 15666. That is just praise the ministries, or just praise them, P.O. Box 305, Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, 15666. Okay, uh, God bless you guys, and I and, uh, hope you enjoy today's word. All right, let's uh, get started with a word of prayer, and then uh, we'll get, get into the word, okay? Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you, Lord God. Father, we just love you. We love your word. We love you. We just love everything about you, Lord God. And Father God, we thank you. We thank you that you've been so kind and so merciful to us, Lord God, especially this time of year, Lord God. I thank you for, for your kindness and your goodness, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Uh, Luke chapter 1 starting at verse 5, Luke chapter 1, at verse 5. There were in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. The day, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> And they were both righteous before God, walking in all, all his commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren. And they were both well advanced in years. Now, it's important that you, um, you pay close attention here, that you underline that fact that they were past the age of having children. <clears throat> so it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an, then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of in, incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. Now, um, I, I, I have to pause here. <clears throat> isn't this the place where you're supposed to hear from God? I mean, isn't this the place where you're supposed to see God in the temple? Just... Just a, a side note here. I mean, this is the place where you're supposed to hear from God. Okay, but the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer has been heard. Now, again, his prayer has been heard. It's a, something he's been asking for. Something he, he's been requesting is coming to pass. In his life. I mean, that, that's amazing. He's not supposed to be afraid. He's not supposed to be fearful. He's not supposed to question this. But he does. <laughs> um, but anyway, he, he asked for this. He specifically asked for this. And your wife, Elizabeth, will bear a son. That's it. That's what he asked for, a son. He asked for a son. And you shall call his name John. And he will have joy and gladness. Excuse me. And you will have joy and gladness. And many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. 
and he shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also, <clears throat> excuse me, he will also go before him in the spirit of the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers of the ch to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people permanent of the Lord. Man, wow, that's, that's hefty. I mean, not only are you getting a son, but you're getting a heck of a son. Uh, you, you, you just, man, you hit the lottery. And Zechariah said to the angel, how shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife well advanced in years. Now, again, he's been asking for a son. Yet he questioned the angel when the angel came and said, How, how's this going to happen? I mean, I'm, I'm old and my wife is old and that, 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 that. That doesn't make sense. Why are you asking God for something? And then just when God says, okay, you question it. I'll leave that. It's a side note. Anyway, so it says, how shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is well advanced in years. I mean, I'm sorry. Is there something God can't do? I mean, why ask him then? Well, why ask God to do something that he can't do? Well, he can do anything. So then you ask, and then you should be happy when he says yes. But anyway, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I am Gabriel who stands in the presence of God and was set to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not be able to speak until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. Now, he was mute because he didn't believe. He, he was made to be he, he, he was silent now because he did not believe that this is, it's important to understand that he did not believe that's what caused him that, 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 that that's what caused him to, 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 to not be able to speak he did not believe okay <clears throat> I mean he asked for it. <laughs> Just it just boggles my mind that I, I've never seen that before. But he had asked for it. He he had been asking God for something, and God gave it to him, and he questioned it. That that this is amazing to me. That this just ah, makes no sense. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came, he could not speak to them. And, he perceived, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. For he looked at them and remained speechless. Now, let's um, take a second and, and go to verse 26. We're just going to skip a few verses, but go to verse 26 of Luke chapter 1. So Luke chapter 1, verse 26. Okay. Now, now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin na virgin's name was Mary. And having come, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> and having come into the house, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what kind of manner of greeting was this. The angel said to her, 
Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Now, I just, I just want to point out here, there's nothing that says she was afraid. She was troubled. There's a difference <clears throat> between being troubled and being afraid. Um, she was troubled because of the saying. She, she, she was, I mean, come on now. I mean, it said that, um, excuse me, uh, it, it, it said that Mary w was troubled because she, the way she was greeted, she, she said, she told she was favored of God. She was favored of God. I mean, highly among, highly blessed among women. What, what, what kind of greeting is this? I mean, she, she's told that she's phenomenal, basically. She's told that she's a blessing among women, but she's told that she's favored by God. Now, understand, Zacharias was a man, married man. He was to have relations with his wife. They were to have children. That, that was understandable. Mary was a virgin. Yeah, Ma Mary wasn't supposed to have a child. And, 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 and here she was told that she was favored of God. Man. Man, that's just, that, 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 that's just something that, that's amazing. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Highest. And the, and, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom here will be no end. There will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I, I know not a man? You know, that, that, that's, a, that's a good question to ask. I mean... She, she knew no man. She, she, she didn't know anybody. I mean, she knew Joseph, but she didn't know him, know him. <laughs> she, she didn't know him in a biblical sense. Um, and, and, and she was going to have a baby. She was going to have a ch the child of God. Now, how, how can this be since I know not a man? And the angel of the Lord answered to her and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. No, indeed, Elizabeth, your relatives have also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her, who was to be called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. You know, you may want to underline that in your, in your passage. Uh, nothing shall be impossible to God. Then Mary said, Behold, thy maid servant of the Lord. Behold, thy maid servant of the Lord. Let it be a, according to your word. Let it be according to your word. My gosh, that is the response. I mean, th th that is what God wants to hear from us. God.